down in the car One time give it all Box it open huh? Let me see What's up, dude? Welcome back to Why Not Ride. It's Ride and Dine Part 2. We're heading to Old Sugar Mill Pancake House. You literally make your breakfast on a skillet right in front of you. Bacon, sausage, egg, pancakes. They even have gluten-free for my partner in crime who is also coming. It's up in De Leon Springs, about 37 miles north of here, Orlando. It's a very old house on this crystal clear river, and there's a pond. I'm going to get footage of everything. I can't wait for you guys to come. As always, Insta360, GoPro, Cardo Systems, and KYT helmet because that's how I roll. Let's get this thing on the road. Stop at uh, Wawa, get some drinks, and uh, fill up with gas, and then we'll be on our way. Is that it's just so dang smooth. It is so smooth. Like even when you switch gears here, check it out. Boom, super smooth. All right, it's saying an hour, but I can do it in 35 minutes. <laughs> this person wants to run us over, I can tell. You're gonna pinch me there, asshole? Oh yeah, it's because he's mad I'm way faster than him. Lake Jessup, Lake Jessup has the highest population of alligators in all of Florida. So like, per, like the, the actual number of the most amount of alligators of any lake in all of Florida is that lake that we went over right there. Central Florida, so this is North Orlando, DeLand, Sanford, Mount Dora, they all have really, really cool, like historic districts. And it makes it super fun because you go into these super old towns, we got all these new businesses and ice cream shops and, and little trinkets and, and antiques. And it makes it super fun because you can pull off of these random cities that you really wouldn't think much about and they got craft breweries and stuff. And, it makes it super fun, so a lot more to come, but today we're gonna focus on Old Sugar Mill Pancake House, which by the way, Old Sugar Mill Pancake House, the pancake house is in an Old Sugar Mill, just in case you haven't put two and two together yet. It feels so good outside. Uh, <laughs> a little bumpy, but man, it feels so good. Ponce de Leon Boulevard. Two lane row. Ponce de, de Leon Springs. I saw a sign. Yeah, look how old Florida this is. This is like super like swampy, marshy Florida forest. We got palm trees and crazy ass moss. This is pretty cool out here. Pretty cool. All right, we got a little bit of a line here. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I had to go get stuff to get my setup right so I could actually vlog because the number one thing that I blew it last time is I couldn't actually talk on camera. All right, so allegedly the estimated wait time for the restaurant is two to two and a half hours. So I'm gonna go drop her off and see if she can get us the spot. I don't like this. Oh look, special parking for motorcycles. All right, so here's the situation. How long is the wait? Two to two and a half hours. Two to two and a half hours. So we didn't bring swim trunks or anything, but all this is some fantastic water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Ross, about six miles away. We're gonna get some swim trunks and stuff. And then we're gonna go swim around for two and a half hours. So you guys are gonna get an extended edition. So <laughs> congratulations. Got a question for you. So we're gonna go get swim trunks. That's gonna take 20, 30 minutes. We're about to shut the park down like right now because we have no more parking left. For sure. So if you do go to get it, you're probably not gonna be able to get back in. Really? Two or three o'clock this afternoon. Not 
Not even for a motorcycle? I could park like anywhere. Yeah, because you still have to use like an actual parking spot. We don't have like designated mo motorcycle parking. Um, unfortunately. I don't know if the gift shop sells any. I can double check for you. I sells any. Oh. We do have a gift shop. I don't know if they have swimsuits, so you want me to call them? Yeah, you figured they would, right? All right, well, I'm back from Ross and <laughs> no swim trunks. I got short shorts. Hour wait, so we're gonna go kill some time. But before that, check out this menu. All you can eat pancakes for $7.99. They're gonna regret that one. Officially gonna be the longest hour of my life because I am freaking starving. <laughs> There's only one contingency. So this place closed and it opened back up. We thought that the pancakes were gluten-free and or vegan, whatever. So, um, what was that face for? Uh, his name is John. He did the show with me. Yeah. What? I've actually worked here since 2004. Wow, look at that. Yeah. So, so what's the biggest difference between the old owners and the new ones? Everything's down to the table, down to the batter, down to the meat. Everything's totally different except for the walls that you look at. Other than that, I'm missing all the pictures of history. But you're the same. I'm the same. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we're missing all the fans in here. We used to have fans everywhere. Yeah. We had a big fan here. They took the fans, fans away. The, I guess my old boss did, man. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes, gotcha. Well, yeah. well, well we're excited. Order, yeah. What's the one thing we should order on the menu that we have to get other than pancakes? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> see, back in the day, we said the BLT. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, we're known for our BLT. Okay. We came all the way from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Wow. Yeah, it was Patrick had a hey, apple, apple smoke with it. And Look yeah, at that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I like the biscuits and gravy here. Uh, biscuits and gravy. But uh, I'll tell you what a good one is. is the breakfast sandwich. All right. I'll get it. It comes with a fresh biscuit, fresh egg. You can ask how you want the egg. It's over easy, whatever, yep. scrambled with fresh bacon, fresh sure. biscuits, all that. So, all right, man. I appreciate cheese, you. All, that, yeah. all right. So you heard it here first. My suggestion. Get the you heard it here first. I'm getting the breakfast sandwich with the biscuit and pancakes. You heard it here first. Uh -huh. Looks pretty good. First bite. Wow. Super fresh. The biscuits are so good. They're like literally the biscuits taste like they just came out of the oven. Pancakes are on right now. Let's check it out. Alright, uh, the review was that it's not as good as it used to be. They got new owners. I had been there before, but it's a little different. But uh, I'm sweating bullets, if you can't tell. It is so hot, I gotta go put my MBT pants back on. So, I'm not ready for this ride. But uh, until next time, vlog, zero, <laughs> vlog, vlog 002 is done.